I deliver clothes in other countries, um, I normally have a liaison, which is a friend that I've made that is local. So um, Indonesia, for example. I was in Indonesia this past April delivering new clothes, and I had an Indonesian friend who lived there, and he spoke the language, and he knew exactly where to go. So uh, normally I pack up all the clothes I'm going to give away here in the U.S., and I put them in big suitcases and check them on the plane, and I take them with me. So when I get off the plane, I have all this luggage of clothes to give away. And I go meet my liaison, my friend, and he and I will go travel to a very remote place. So in Indonesia, we picked an island that was secluded from uh, the mainland. Um, the people on the island were very impoverished. They had no running water, no electricity, um, no motorized vehicles. It was just an island, and they walk around and... Um, live and work and play on the island. So most people didn't ever leave, so they didn't have access to a lot of the uh, luxuries in the city. So we took a boat to the island and we get off and um, there's no motorized vehicles, so we had a horse and a buggy and we put these big bags of clothes in the buggy and make our way around the village. Uh, around the island, and we went to we went door to door. We knock on the door and meet the family. And uh, my liaison normally translates for me, so I will explain that I'm there to give them new clothes, and then we give everyone new clothes. The kids are always really excited. Um, they they usually take off whatever it is that they're wearing and put on their new clothes and jump up and down and hug us, and they want to follow us the whole way, and the adults are really appreciative. They understand how far I've come to be there for them and give them clothes, and um, they realize what this does to their family, you know, how much this helps. So the adults are really appreciative, and they hug me and kiss me, and um, it's, it's really amazing. It's the greatest feeling with each family. And then I move on to the next door and you knock on the door and you have the whole experience all over again. And um, we made our way around that island. 400 people live on the island and we gave them all a new outfit of clothes. And uh, it's, it's amazing. And then I take a big, a big breath <laughs> of relief, you know, that, that I did it. And that I clothed an entire island in Indonesia.